Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter. Boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. I don't even know how that started. And I am sitting in the Walmart parking lot yet for another, yes, Starbucks review. I'm getting ready to go through the obstacle course of which I love. And um, if you didn't watch my video yesterday, you don't know what I'm talking about, but I will show you again. Um, I am getting ready to review the third and final new drink that Starbucks has out for us this early spring. I reviewed the new Honey Something Nitro and it was just okay. And then I reviewed yesterday the Pineapple Matcha drink, which I absolutely hated and thought was horrible. And I gave it one, one star. <laughs> and now I'm going to review their ginger drink, which I have heard um, horrible things about. It's interesting to me <laughs> I was gonna pray. I was gonna pray for better drinks from Starbucks. Please, Starbucks, give us some better drinks, you know? People wonder why there's all of these secret menu drinks or people like make up their own drinks and whatever. It's because Starbucks doesn't come up with the best drinks in the entire world, do you know what I mean? It's interesting to me, out of the hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of thousands, millions even, of secret menu drinks that have been made for Starbucks, that they don't um, pick better drinks. I really, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, okay, what are the three drinks that nobody has thought of yet because they're so bad? And I actually think it would be a really cool thing if like every month Starbucks picked like a secret menu drink that somebody had come up with and invented and made it into their own. I think the problem would be that, you know, often there's a hundred people that have come up with the same drink. So it might be hard to do that, but I think that would be really cool. You know, if like once a month Starbucks came up with, I mean, they could use my Vegas, my Vegas bomb drink. Is that what it was called? No, that's like what you, I think that's uh, vodka and a Red Bull. I don't drink, so I don't know. But remember that the Vegas all nighter, the Vegas all nighter, they could do the Vegas all nighter as one of their drinks, you know? And then they could have a secret menu drink every month that would be exclusive just to that month that a Starbucks like fan came up with on their own. And then they could highlight that person. I think that would be really, really cool, you know? And they wouldn't get any proceeds or anything. They just get their name on the Starbucks. Anyway, I don't need my uh, regular coffee today because I went to brunch at Cafe Patishu, which is my favorite brunch restaurant in Indianapolis. So this is hazelnut. I already have my coffee for the day. So I'm going to go through here and I am going to, <laughs> here, I'm going through the obstacle course right now. Do you guys want to see? Let's see how well Peter does. Oh, they said go right or left. <laughs> go left. <laughs> and then go through the cones. <laughs> oh my God. I'm such a good driver. Okay. So anyway, there's outdoor living at Walmart in case you wanted to know. They don't have their spring stuff out there yet. All right. We're going to go. It's hot. It's like my vlog, it's hot tamales in here today. Okay, we're gonna go through here and we're gonna review this drink. I'm actually kind of excited to review this one. Out of the three, it's interesting that this is the one that I waited for until the very end. Oh, by the way, I have my Team Tree sweatshirt on today. Um, you can uh, order this sweatshirt and help contribute through the Arbor Foundation to plant trees around the world. Um, Hashtag team trees. Okay. The ginger drink was the one that I was the most excited about reviewing. And actually, it's the one that people are saying is the worst. But I kind of really love ginger. It's called the golden ginger drink. And here, I will show it to you. See it right there? It's the one in the middle. And um, I'm all excited about it. So let's hope they have it in here. One. That was the first one that was gone, too, I think, when I came through here. Thank you for choosing our Starbucks. Like, we get started for you. Can I get a grande uh, golden ginger drink? Ew. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Golden it's ginger drink. Called Anything else? a review. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> well, that everybody else says it's not. So. I mean, if you like ginger, you like turmeric. It's pretty good. Your man said it was horrible. Well, sure. He doesn't like ginger turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all I need today. Just that one. Okay. Yeah, I already have a coffee. Okay. Thanks. But I kind of like ginger drinks, so we'll see. I already have my card and everything all tuned up. I have $11.90 on here. I keep on losing points. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Sorry, we didn't mean to trade out just for you, but... So what is your uh, favorite other than new three drinks? Well, from the Starbucks with the started for you. It's I think the matcha's the best one of the three. 
Josh actually gave me a recipe for, he texted it to me, gave me the recipe for um, a tiramisu. And you know I don't even like matcha. I know, but you like chai. Yeah, but there's no chai in it. <laughs> what was that drink that you told me to get, that tiramisu? The tiramisu? Yeah, I need to or I need to do that one at some point. Yes, you Thank you. Well, this is pretty at least. It is pretty. Thank well, you. Well, How well, are you, well, Sam? <laughs> so she said this drink's gross. <laughs> I don't like any of them. I haven't liked any of them yet. Ooh, you tried the foam one already? The matcha pineapple was horrible. One star. What? Don't hit that girl. <laughs> She's like miles away. <laughs> don't hit that girl. Okay. We're going to pull in here. Look at this beautiful Jeep Wrangler next to me. Four door silver Jeep Wrangler. Okay. Let's try this drink. Are you ready? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. It kind of looks like an orange juice, doesn't it? Those are my thumbnails. One of those. Um, okay. So it was $4.95 and it was 140 calories for a grande. So that's this. This is a golden ginger drink. We're going to try it right now. I actually really like it. Do you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> the things that it reminds me of are always, like, real weird. Do you know what I mean? Like, my level of, like... You know, like, what do you call it? Like, comparing it to something is always really weird. It reminds me of those drinks that you get at, like, Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, you know? That um, are, like, supposed to be, like, super, super healthy for you. Or if you've ever done, done, like, the detox cleanse drinks. I did them for, like, two days one time. They're so expensive. Oh, my God. So, I saw that all these movie stars were doing like this bottle cleanse and you do it for like, you could do it for like four days, seven days, or like 10 days or 14 days or something like that. But the drinks have like all the ingredients listed on the side. I don't know which ones these are. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And it says like honey, oats, milk, whatever. And it has them listed on the side. But each of them are some ridiculous amount of money, like $9.99, okay, for a drink. And then you're supposed to drink six of them a day. You drink, like, one when you get up, and it's supposed to, like, I think, have something to do with your metabolism. But basically, it's, like, this fluid cleanse, right? And they're supposed to really, really work. But that is, oh, my God, that's, like, $60 a day in these drinks. And all these movie stars were doing it, and so I read the article. I mean, if movie stars do it, of course, I have to do it, right? So that's what this kind of reminds me of. It reminds me of, like, one of those healthy living drinks. It's really good. It's funny that it looks so much like orange juice. I mean, it really, if you get, like, right up on it. Get right up on it! Come on, if you get right up on it. I mean, it really, really, really looks like... You know what? It looks like... It looks like the orange juice from McDonald's, doesn't it? <laughs> but they say it's, like, 100% pure juice. But <laughs> Juice? It's 100% pure juice! <laughs> but, you know, it's, like, maybe 1% juice. And the pulp is actually, like, crunched ice. That's what... <laughs> I do love pulp in my juice, though, don't you? Anyway. It tastes like some kind of fruit. Okay, this is what it tastes like. It tastes like some kind of fruit juice, and I would say, like a pineapple juice. And then you can definitely tell, taste the ginger in it, but the ginger tastes like ginger root. It doesn't taste like, you know, like ginger ginger ale or ginger beer or any of that kind of stuff. It tastes like ginger, like actual ginger root, which I almost kind of wonder if that's turmeric in there. Um, but I really like it. I really like it. I, and I honestly would probably order this again. Like, if I wanted something to give me a kick, because I'm 50 and I like to kick. <laughs> I would maybe order this. I mean, somebody in my comment section yesterday, they said, oh, damn it, Janet. I wish I had it up. They said that it'll, like, put your throat on fire or something like that. It's not that spicy. It really isn't. It's not putting my throat on fire. But it's spicy. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's not the spiciest food ever in the entire world. This one time, my husband loves Thai food so much. And we went to this Thai restaurant that he loves. And they had, like, you know, ten different levels of, like, how spiciness. And so I said to the woman, I said, so... 
I don't like real spicy food. How far down should I go? And she was like, well, like, what's your level of spice? I said, I can handle spicy. I just don't love it. You know what I mean? So I ended up getting like, th like it had like the peppers, you know, and they like went up in color and whatever. I got like a three out of 10. Woo! Mama, they couldn't bring that water fast enough. I was so over it. I was so over it. I was like, they could not. And the glasses of water were like this big. And I'm like, bring more water, bring more water. I was like, I will drink anything on this table. I don't care what it is. Oh my God. It was so hot. It's not like that. Like on a level of like 10 spicinesses, this is <laughs> 10 spicinesses. This is about, I mean, for me, honestly, it's a, it's a three or four. It's not, it's not that spicy. I mean, I thought it was going to be, like, overboard, right? But it's a good drink. It really reminds me of... So, I've talked about this on here before. But I watched that movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. If you haven't seen the documentary, check it out. And I juiced for a couple days. Which, I swear to God, that juicing is straight from the devil. Okay? I think that the devil invented juicing. And... Every, basically, every juice in the world <laughs> in that show, you have to put ginger root in it, okay? Well, anything that you put ginger root in basically tastes like a Bloody Mary. So, this kind of tastes like a Fruity Bloody Mary is <laughs> really what it tastes like. Do you think it's interesting? I don't know why I just thought of this. And I don't even drink. You know, I've been sober for 25 years. But do you think it's interesting that they've come up with a million martinis, but they only have one Bloody Mary? Why don't they have all... They, you know, somebody's going to be like, oh, this restaurant has 10 different kinds of Bloody Marys. But don't you think it's funny that they don't come up with all these different kind of Bloody Mary tastes, you know? Like, that they make... Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to give this... This is pretty good. I'm going to give this like a 4.4. I think it's pretty good. I don't know what I would add to it. I would probably add a little bit more juice to it. But I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad at all. I like it. So anyway, I'm going to give it a 4.4. And uh, if you've tried this, put it in the comment section below and let me know what you think. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.